we continue with Project Economy News this morning, and we have Byron Gagnes from the University of Hawaii Economic Research Organization. The View Hero comes every Friday morning to talk about the economy. Good morning, Byron, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, sure. Now, a couple of job reports came out this morning, and it talks about the state of Hawaii's jobs, uh, one on the economy and the other on income. Uh, what are you looking at this morning? Right, so there's two reports out from the federal government this morning for statewide jobs and statewide income. Um, the first report on jobs gives us job data for May, uh, and it's more of the sort of the same gradual improvement that we've seen over the last several months. Um, we, the economy added about 1,700 jobs, uh, and I think that's the fourth month in a row that we've had uh, net increases in jobs from month to month. So that's good news. We're still in a big hole. Um, mm -hmm. the, we've lost, we're still down about 35,000 jobs from where we were at the peak. The unemployment rate is, is inching down. It's at 6.6%, but that's a far cry from where we were for a few years ago. Right, so things are getting better, but it's not moving very fast at this it's point. It's encouraging that we're still seeing this forward momentum, but it's mm -hmm. going to take a while to, to really get things back to a healthy kind of labor market. Right, and the other report was on uh, income, and it showed growth in the first quarter. What else can you tell us about that? That's right. So this other report has to do with personal income, and that's all the income that accrues to Hawaii residents from various sources. So it includes labor income, also income from dividends and, and, and so forth, uh, and also income that comes from things like unemployment compensation. Um, recently, the only growth areas have been unemployment compensation mm -hmm. and some of these other uh, social uh, safety net kinds of programs. The, the encouraging thing now is we're seeing uh, some growth also in labor income. Uh, and uh, so certainly that's encouraging. That again is also going to take a while before we start to see some significant income growth. But at least, you know, it's not contracting anymore. Right. A couple of big stories uh, locally was the environmental approval, the environmental impact statement approved uh, by the federal government for the rail transit system. Obviously, that's good news for construction, but also uh, city government announcing that of the furloughs of uh, city workers. So when you throw that into the mix, how is that going to affect our local economy? Yeah, well, you know, the public sector is a real mixed bag for the economy right now. Obviously, any progress moving forward on rail is, is good news. Uh, we've still got a ways to go there. Uh, the governor's made it clear that the state is going to do a very careful review of the project. Um, so I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of help in the next year or so. But mm -hmm. down the road, that's going to be helpful, especially for construction. Um, furloughs at the county level, obviously not good news. We knew it was coming. Um, it's not as big uh, an impact as the statewide furloughs were. Um, but certainly, it's not good news to have anybody out of work or have that reduced income at this point in, right. the, in the expansion. And it trickles on because when they're not working, they're not spending. Exactly, yeah. And so, the, you know, this, the state picture is very mixed. Um, hopefully that we've seen the worst at the state level. And now the counties are dealing with the, the effect of lower property taxes. And that's right. going to be there for a while. All right, Byron Gangness, thank you so much for joining us. Sure. And we'll see you guys next week Friday. The folks from UHero, the University of Hawaii Economic Research Organization.